Hello my friends, welcome back. My name is Jordan and today we're going to be playing Lord of the Rings The Battle for Middle-earth uh, The Good Campaign. Today is going to be mission number nine and let me hop right into it. I've been playing a lot today. I don't know if you've noticed my clothes are still the same. It's because I've been filming the last few episodes all on the same day um, because I'm just having a blast. Having a blast with this game. Uh, it's so much fun. So we've got lots of options here. We can go to Fangorn, plus two power. We can go to the Wold for plus 20% resources. Uh, East Eminent, plus 20 command. Or East Fold, plus 20 command, plus 10% resources. I am going to go for the command and the resources. So we're going to go for East Fold. Um, because I feel like that's the best option right now. So here we go. The east fold of Rohan is controlled by Eoman, the third marshal of the Riddermark in the king's name. His lands must not fall into darkness. Ah, so this is Eomor's homeland. Okay, we're building a castle. Closing the gate. Looks like Isengard arrives in 10 minutes, but that counter is moving pretty quickly. Um, all right, what do we want? So I'm going to build some farms. I am going to, again, I'm going to build an archery range. It's just to see if uh, I do have access to any elves. Um, we have destroy all evil camps, bonus purchase heavy armor for three battalions, already done, and also bonus level up three battalions. So... Do we even have battalions to level up? Yeah, okay, we do. So we don't have any elves. Um, I don't really, I don't, you know, I don't really expect to see the elves uh, until after a certain mission, after a certain battle takes place. I should say until after that mission. Uh, we do have some extra command points so I am tempted to spend some time here to uh, pick up some extra units. You know I could and I could just get some archers just to have them. Uh, you know that that could be a good idea actually because we could um, just kind of defend our our castle with them. So let me go ahead and get some of them. Uh, I'll also get an armory as soon as I can. We currently have a 1.3 times multiplier for our resources, so that's always good. We farmers will pick up our bows. Be vigilant, yeoman. Yeah, so I need to get an armory to give these guys heavy armor and also fire arrows. Oh, they're here. Oh yeah, those archers aren't going to survive. They need uh, they need armor upgrades. Oh my gosh, they just came and did a hit and run. I didn't even have time to open the gate. Okay, the gate's closing again. Here they are. Yeah, they can just sit outside. That's fine. Oh, I, I need this spot for an armory. Um, I'm going to build a postern gate over here. That way I can get the horse horses in and out without having to open the gate. Um, take them and go build a farm over here and take care of those crossbows. Get some extra resources going on here. Yeah. 
Let me see, where's my archers here? There's this one. There's these ones. Are there any more? Oh, there's some back here as well. So these guys have heavy armor on. It's kind of why our, uh, that's part of the reason why our own uh, archers didn't stand a chance on the wall. But with the fire arrows, they're pretty uh, lethal. Okay, let's see. I want an armory. We want some yeoman archers. Let's go ahead and get four of them. gonna keep those horse archers back there. Got some goblins over here, let's take them out. I'm gonna put some... I don't have... oh there we go I just got the gold or the money. So I'm gonna put some... Uh, I think it's a good investment to put some of these wall banner upgrades. I, I really don't know what they're gonna throw at me in two minutes and 25 seconds but I want to be prepared, so. Some crossbowmen just crossbow oryx just sitting here attacking me. All right, we've got a minute and 16 seconds until whatever this army is arrives. This Isengard army. Alright, I'm gonna pull all of the horses into the castle for the time being. I just want to get these archers taken care of, these archers upgraded and everything. It's, uh, let me see. The priority is gonna be getting heavy armor on these guys, so... This looks like it's 250 per uh, per unit here. Okay, they're attacking my farm up there, it's okay. Alright, and there's the Horns of War. Isengard has arrived. I also need to save up uh, 2,000 gold in order to upgrade these guys to fire arrows. So that's my next priority here. Yeah, they're just taking out my camps on the way here. Enemy sighted. Alright, I have just one more unit that needs fire arrow upgrade and then uh, they're all taken care of. Oh yeah, they didn't stand a chance.
If they send siege equipment at me, I'm gonna be taking the horses right out and charging. Because we don't play with siege equipment here. We don't take chances with that. So I need 3, 6, 9, 12, 1200 gold. Almost fully upgraded here. Alright, just 600 more. Actually, this might... Oh, I already got it, so we've already gotten the both bonuses. We're just needing to destroy all evil camps. Where are they at, I wonder? Oops. Alright, so our Yeoman archers are fully upgraded now. Uh, let's go ahead and take back this place. Go get our... Uh... Oh wow, they have so many... Oh, okay. Their army's here. Okay, so they have like a, a bunch of wargs out here. Warg riders. So I'm gonna send the, uh, send the whole army out. this back. Give me a farm. All right, I guess I guess they're not actually sending an army to attack my castle. So this preparation was a bit wasted, but that's okay. We can use those archers in Well, there's the army. If I can group these guys up, get as many upgraded as possible, or healed up, I mean. Alright, let's take. Oh, they do have a, a battering, batner, battering ram. But they haven't used it, so. Oh, they've got a bunch of battering rams. What? Maybe it's maybe only on hard difficulty do they actually attack the the castle. Weird. All right, let's find their camp. Some more warg riders. There's their. Oh no, that's a river. Thought that was their camp. Let's go. Keep going. There it is. Uh, get me the archers up front. No, no, no. Don't charge. Alright. There's the camp, let's do it. They're building some defenses. They've got some pikes in there too. I want to take them out before they get close. Trying to build some defenses here. They've got a lot of arrow towers already, actually, because uh, their resource structures, when they level up to level three, they automatically gain uh, the arrow towers on them. 
So it can be pretty leaf lethal when you wait a little bit to attack their base. But it looks like we're going to manage just fine. And they just got an arrow tower here. That's it. Is that it? Oh, okay, so maybe they have a... Uh, they might have another camp somewhere on the map. Oh, they sent some forces to our castle. Oh, they've got ta they've got a ladder. Got a ladder coming in. There we go. Took, took that out. Like our archers are handling things pretty well over here. Yeah, these uh, banner upgrades really do a difference. All right, I'm gonna close this gate. Let's put some arrow towers on this castle just in case. You never know. You can never be too safe. I'm gonna put a well in there too, just. So I can come and heal if I need to. Build some resource buildings, some farms. They're sending something else towards our castle. Oh, that won't make it. All right, let me get these guys inside. I, I just want to make sure this castle's all taken care of before we actually head out. So I'm gonna keep building some arrow towers here. You know, the backside's probably going to be fine. Alright, let's go. Let's find out where they, where they're camped out at. Actually, I can... Not that I need it, but put a farm there too. Our enemy has claimed these lands. Not for long. Alright, there's just one more arrow tower to put up there. The farm is ready. Where is their other fortress? Oh, there's a camp spot here. So they're not here. Was there, an, there was another one up. Oh, I didn't actually check. There's an outpost up there, but I didn't actually get to the camp um, because there's usually it's usually mirrored, so there's usually uh, another camp in the opposite corner if there's one here. You know, let me keep searching the bottom area here. Another outpost. Oh, we've got a lumber mill. Let's take that out. There's okay, there we go. Maybe this is what we were missing. Well, they've got some ladders down here that they've been building. They won't be seeing any battle use here. Oh, 
All right, and that was it. So, I've cleared them out of, I've cleared them out of Eomor's lands, and we got victory. All right, so that's a total victory. We got plus 20 command, plus 10% resources from the East Fold. And we were able to get ourselves some more uh, archers, some regular yeoman archers. So that's good. They'll be able to defend our base whenever we're out riding around. Warriors of Rohan seek refuge in Helm's Deep, but many will die before reaching its gates. So the elves are still making their way downwards. Looks like they've now entered the eaves of Fangorn area. Uh, we've got the Ints and Marion Pippin over here in Fangorn Forest. We've got the Fellowship, Boromir, Legolas, Gimli, and Aragorn, along with a Rohan army of Theoden and Eowyn. A whole bunch of peasants um, heading towards the west. They're currently... I think this is Dunharo? Is that what it says? Dunharo? Uh, so they're leaving Edoras for Helm's Deep right now, so they're currently in Dunharo. We've got Eomor's forces here. Um, looks like Frodo and Sam have entered Northern Atelian. Forces of Mordor are still building up here. And yeah, so the next battle is going to be with Eomor. And it looks like we have a few options. So we've got Fangorn for plus two power. We've got the Wold for plus 20% resources. And we've got the East Eminent for plus 20 command. So uh, that is it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for joining me. Uh, if you like the series, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, that way I know that way I know that you like it. And also feel free to leave comments down below as well. I do re read each and every one of them. Uh, and I try and respond whenever I can. Um, but yeah, as for this episode, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, take care and I'll see you soon.